So today we're doing a cookery workshop in, in Ring Send, sort of in partnership with the IRUPA and, and IRFU, putting it all together. Uh, and so we have a group of players both in the sub academy in Leinster and the academy. Today it's all about learning how to cook and improve the players' cooking skills so that they can actually enjoy the food that they have to eat day to day. What are we up to today? We're doing a bit of cooking. Uh, we have a bit of white fish going on, a bit of teriyaki, teriyaki salmon and some protein balls, so okay. we're tipping with that. What are we making here, Connor? <coughs> uh, salmon teriyaki. Salmon teriyaki? Yeah. Have you ever made it before? Uh, no, never. No, no. no never made so, it before. it's time, time to turn up the beat. My role in Leinster is about making nutrition as understandable as possible for all of the players. So it's about education, but it's about actually making it fun. So the players have specific targets that they all need to meet individually. And my job is to understand the science and help them understand the practical application of nutrition. So what should they eat day to day? Before a game, what, do you think, what would you like to have most? Jeez, I don't know, uh, chicken and rice dish, chicken can't go wrong, dish, yeah, wrong yeah. with that. Okay, good and safe. Um, exactly, yeah. I'm pretty standard with the old chicken and pasta. Chicken and pasta? Yeah, just have that about four or five hours before a match. I try to get most of my feel in uh, like the night before, because I don't really like playing with any food. I like it, I like it. Okay. Yeah. In terms of treat? Uh, peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. 24-7. Very partial to a chocolate chip cookie for my treat. Yeah, for my treat, yeah. Just the one, yeah, Just yeah. The one. yeah. The, 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 yeah, and the cow oh, cheese. <laughs> you know well, I like a glass of milk, yeah, yeah. Uh, little chocolate chip cookies and milk, yeah. yeah probably the same boat as him as well, yeah. Or, uh, no, or cereal. cereal. Yeah. yeah. Before I kind of knew about nutrition, I didn't really know how much of an influence your nutrition actually is going to have on a game. And like now, if I don't like prepare properly the day before with carbs, if I don't get my potatoes, my passes, you actually just don't feel as energized during a game. So the whole process of, of eating the amount of food that they have to do is it's it can be challenging so it needs to be enjoyable they know that they need to eat enough carbohydrate and they know that they need to eat protein but it's actually putting those foods together and actually making it taste good and that's what today is about and it's great fun we have a program of, of three um, uh, cooking events here in, in Ring Zen and so really on a, on a team basis um, the, the guys have been split up into different groups and they're trying to compete against each other and, and it really brings out their competitive edge the things with the cooking workshops, uh, you obviously learn the recipes, but the most important thing to me is you learn kind of what goes together well, so you can kind of throw it in, like if you have it around the house, you can throw a few little bits together, like uh, even the sesame seeds, throwing it onto a bit of tuna or salmon or whatever, like they're just handy little tips you kind of pick up around the place, so loving it. The ability to be able to mix kind of healthy food with a bit of flavour, I think we always get caught up in just sticking everything in the oven and hoping for the best. So it's nice to be able to pick up a few tips. Rugby has become a really physical sport and they're covering huge distances. Uh, so couple that with a developing body and it becomes critical that they're getting enough energy to grow, become stronger and, and to perform well on the pitch. Are you ready?